So the main green from Denton, Texas, about 30 miles north of Dallas, invading SEC territory. Second time they've been here in the last three years. They lost here in 2009. And we are ready for football on this Saturday night. Mays from the three. And A.J. wants to throw that one. First down and then some for Brad Smelly, the tight end. Last week at Penn State, outstanding 19 of 31 for 163 yards. Mays boots his feet and gets over the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Ron looks tonight, he's going to be matched up on Marquise Mays and some of these other Alabama wide receivers, so he's going to have his hands full with this Clemson tied offense. Quick swing to Mays. And a good effort takes it inside the 40 down to about the 36-yard line. Complete. Smelly to the 24. Complete to Jones. Wrapped up and taken out of bounds. He's four for four with his longest of 36 this season. This is a 26-yard attempt. Punches it through perfectly. And Alabama is on the board. 3-0. Chancellor. The end of rounds, pushed out of bounds. Second and three. And the give is to Lance Dunbar. His dad is an assistant coach here, Sal. Coaches the linebackers. His brother is the starting quarterback at Pitt. This throw is complete out to the 49-yard line at Brandon Gibson. Richardson turned something out of nothing and a penalty flag. on the outside and up to the 47 yard line of North Texas second attempt Richardson good lateral pursuit by North Texans steps in and complete to the 35 yard line Mays Right back in, makes the grab. Right now, flow! Right now! They fake it to Mays. McCarron, complete. And out of bounds. Christian Jones. Out of the two tights, Richardson walks in. Touchdown. Punt. Mays gathers it at the 25 and is hit and driven back at the 23. Yeah, Kirby Smart just trying to find different ways, Christine, to get turnovers. They get a lot of interceptions with their multiple looks and confusing quarterbacks, but he wants turnovers. Guys getting in there and stripping the football away. Lacey with the carry. Another one of these. Great Alabama backs, and that is a redshirt sophomore. And Lewis comes in to lead the blocking. And 
over the 45 to about the 47-yard line. Alabama first and 10. A nice toss to the tight end, Michael Williams. Thank you, Christina. We'll talk more about that as the evening unfolds. Chancellor. Bounces off that hit. Cannot get away. And is taken down at the 11-yard line. Mays waits at his own 40. Angling away from Mays from the 33. And about a 10-yard return. And Sims will go to the air. And the kneeling grab by DeAndrew White. You, you're always on edge, ready to, to make a contribution to called upon. Oh, no question. And that's what it is. That's, that's, that's the game of football. You're always one play away. No matter if you're second or third string, you, you prepare and you practice like you're going to be the starter because you very well could be in a short period of time. An outstanding high school career also. He rewrote a lot of the passing records in the state of Virginia. Was one of the top quarterback recruits in the entire country coming out of high school. Nice touch. Out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And that is going to be Gibson. Play action. Chased. And a big hit from behind at the 30-yard line by Zach Orr. Alabama, four for five on third down conversions in this game. To the 20 yard line, short of the first down, as Kenny Bell, the redshirt sophomore, hauls it in. 37 yard attempt by Jeremy Shelley. Hit one from 26 to start the scoring. Play. And good. 8 11 to go, first half. From Tuscaloosa, Bama 20, North Texas nothing. They put points on the board, whether it be a field goal or a touchdown. They should have had a touchdown on the opening drive, as we mentioned, the overthrow on that one. And then on the pass drive, you know, just took a sack down there and, and, and killed that drive. They land Chancellor. Hinned in. And smothered at the 15. Now, like I said, his productivity has been off the charts. The last two seasons, only LaMichael James, the running back from Oregon, has more yards on the ground than Lance Dunbar. Dunbar, nothing inside, and a loss to the 11. No snap, play blown dead. Play of game, offense, number seven. Five-yard penalty, it remains. Down. But, uh, no margin for error kicking from his own end zone. Mays squares up and takes it at the 45. It's a block. And then pushed out of bounds by Andre Power. And down at the four. May is back deep for the Atterbury punt. The good man's got a leg. Yes, he does. Mays gets away from one man. But after a 43-yard punt, a couple of yards on the return. And A.J. out of the gun, rolling. Backside pressure, picked up. Complete to Bell. And he's out of bounds at the 25. <laughs> Fires it to Bell. And taken out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Looking to go 7-for-7 seven seven on the campaign. And 
this one no good. Dunbar, first time tonight, he gets to the outside. And it took into the game's 29th minute. That equals North Texas' biggest gain of the night, five yards. And Dunbar, this time, cannot escape Courtney Upshaw. Lance Dunbar, the senior, is the preseason Sunbelt Player of the Year. And you look at his career numbers, as you mentioned, Tim, over 3,200 rushing yards at North Texas. That will be the final play. And McCarty leads his club to the locker room. And Nick Saban and Alabama head to theirs with a halftime score of 20 to nothing in favor of the Crimson Tide. Grow up, be a man, everybody do their part, and let's go have some fun and see if we can get right back and have a chance to win this game. Thank you very much, folks. Thanks a lot. And speaking of having some fun, how about that toss to Lance Dunbar? Over the middle and complete. And a nice grab takes it down to the Alabama 42-yard line. Third down and long. Pressure. Complete. And out of bounds. Outlaw the grab. This will be a 42-yard attempt for North Texas, bidding for their first points against Alabama. High snap. Blocked. The shutout's intact. But Alabama elected to sit back and play the zone and was able to tackle the wide receiver before he was able to convert for a first down. McCarron at quarterback. Richardson the running back. And Trent over the 40 to the 41. Pressure. McCarron hit as he throws. Incomplete. And a penalty flag. Pass interference, defense, number 23. The penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot and includes an automatic first down. Again, pressure up front by North Texas. And McCarron has to swallow it at the 35. Excuse me, the 45-yard line. And another flag. North Texas has got the football. They've called a fumble, and North Texas has it. And Billy is developing as a sensational special team player. Berry with the punt, and this one is... Get the official mark on the sideline. At around the 30, 35-yard line. Richardson. To the house. <laughs> Will Chancellor be able to break one from his own six? A penalty flag on the play. During the return, block in the back, receiving team number four. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. First down. Nice move up the middle before Barron made the tackle as Dunbar on the delay. Nick Saban talked to us about how in the Auburn game, in the South Carolina game, the LSU game, none of those leaders stepped up and said anything and rallied the troops, and that's what they were missing in those games. So this year, Dante and those guys are taking that responsibility and make sure that doesn't happen again. They're going to have to continue to find on that opening drive how they got Lance Dunbar out in space. they got to find a way to get him opened up. He's just so bottled up in this Alabama defense right now. James Hamilton to the outside, breaks a tackle and stumbles his way to the 45. And he had all day to throw the football, but just no one open downfield. Great job by Dre Kirkpatrick, Daquan Menzi, Mark Barron, Robert Lesher, that whole secondary, veteran secondary, doing a great job tonight bottling up these North Texas wideouts. Will Atterbury, despite that shank, still with a great average. This one will bounce out of bounds. 
And they'll mark it at the seven. So Atterbury redeems himself. And he steps through the hole. And takes it out to the 14-yard line. <laughs> They'll mark his progress at the 22, a nine-yard pickup. Quickly to Bell. A couple of nice cuts over the 35 to the 38. Two tight end set, Tim. The blocking up front was magnificent. This one. Incomplete and a penalty flag. Pass interference coming. AJ is chased out of bounds at the 19. This time, A.J. is going to be sacked. Back at the 25-yard line, Julian Heron. Bidding for his third of the night. And this is going to be no good. Marquise May is looking to return his sixth punt of the game. His longest return has been for 28 yards. He's going to let this one hit. A North Texas bounce inside the 20 and down at the 17. Illegal formation, kicking team, more than four players lined up in the backfield. The penalty is five yards. Repeat, fourth down. And brought some heat. Mays will make the fair catch at the 29. Richardson, the other number three. Off to the races and gone. My goodness, what a run. Touchdown, Alabama. It's, it's very, uh, very difficult for a wide receiver to regain 100% form after suffering, suffering such a tough injury. And D forcing a 7-3 and out. Christian Jones taken down the pond receipt and a timeout. I think Arkansas, a lot of people feel, Tim, a dark horse in this SEC West. Yeah, no question. I'm one of those people. I've liked Arkansas from the get-go of this season. I think they have outstanding talent at the wide receiver position. And Tyler Wilson is great. And so is Eddie Lacy. How about that one? It's, I mean, they're just getting chucks in the run game now. Offensive line starting to wear down that undersized North Texas defensive line. And you can see it's taking a toll on them here late in the fourth quarter. Dunbar, penalty flag. Holding offense number 57. The penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat, second down. And Will Atterbury with the punt. Atterbury's done a nice job tonight. Timeout with 10 away to play. He's had his fourth quarter hands up, had every player on this sideline put their hands up in the air and get hyped for this fourth quarter. The energy is unbelievable over here. Uh, Christina, it's never hard to spot a strength and conditioning coach on any team. He's always the loudest guy on the sideline. He's always got that raspy, hoarse voice. He's been yelling so much. You can always spot the strength and conditioning coach. Certainly he plays a huge role in, the, in affecting how these kids work and prepare to get ready for the season. Phillip Sims at quarterback, loose ball on top of the carpet, and let's see. North Texas is pointing they have it. Do the officials agree? Yes, they do. Brent Osborne is at quarterback for the Mean Green. 
Hamilton trying to get to the outside and does. Looking to cut that corner and knocked out of bounds and a big hit. You just lose the mental focus that, that, you, uh, that you would have if it was a tight football game. You're not as honed in to what your assignments are. And that's the last thing you want to see as coaches because there's going to be games where you're going to have to focus for 60 minutes. You can't have a let up. Hamilton cuts it back. Jumps it down to the 26-yard line. Now, well, Kirby's one of the best defensive coordinators in all of college football. And just a really bright future ahead for Kirby. That will be a first out for North Texas at the 18. As Breland Chancellor. North Texas in a five-wide receiver uh, formation. Here comes the blitz. you got man-to-man -man coverage all over the field. Let's just find your best matchup. And over the middle it is! And tripped up at the last second. Fumble. Kicked. North Texas recovers. Back to the 12-yard line. To the end zone. Incomplete and a penalty flag. And this one looks to go against the Crimson Tide. Pressure. Firing. Incomplete. Intended for Andre Power. And Alabama holds. As we saw last week with the Florida Gators. It really doesn't matter who you're playing these days in college football. When your defense can register a shutout, you have done something special. Sims runs the play clock down to two. Hey, Lacey. Inside running to the 20 nine-yard line. Alabama content to a couple of plays here. Call it a night. This time the ball carrier is Blake Sims, redshirt freshman. Sims to the 36-yard line, and that will do it. Nick Saban. Ball club continues. It's a September domination. 18 and 2 in the month of September under Coach Saban. He shakes the hand of Dan McCartney. And when Alabama has a player rush for 100 plus under Coach Saban, Alabama is 26 and 1. Our final score tonight from Tuscaloosa, Alabama 41, North Texas nothing. Back after this.